Now we've got reports of speeders coming along this road upwards of 58 miles an hour. So we're gonna sit here and wait for them. Guess I'm just gonna have to sit here and think about donuts. They're sprinkled, glazed. Who's that coming? There it is right now. There's that speeder. There he is. Look at him. Oh no, no, no. It's a Ford Ranger. I don't have enough horsepower to catch a Ford Ranger. Damn. Looks like somebody's coming up to talk to us. Officer, I hear you have a problem with some speed. Don't worry, I have some turbos. It'll help you. Here, don't want no turbo glass getting in our turbos. Take it. I was born ready for this. Watch this. If I hit something, just stop recording. Right here. Show us. Well, see, I don't got a handbrake, so I'm just having to stomp on the emergency brake, and then I got to stomp on it again to let it release. So it kind of gets confused. Like if I had a handbrake, though, I'd be a, I would be a rally racing master. I'd be a drifting master, power sliding master, even. I'd be a popsicle. Why would I be a popsicle? If I hook the stop recording. I'm just telling you right now. you're in a dangerous position. Stop, stop, that, that's enough. You've, you've had enough fun. What are you talking about? It's time I almost had this mastered. Did you just kill the truck? It beeped at me and it said too much awesomeness drifting. It's fine. I just moved everything to the passenger side. That's where I wanted to reach it anyway. You know what? I will say, putting all my go fast speed parts in the back end of my Peterbelt in the middle of a snowstorm was not my best idea. Considering the batteries died on the Peterbelt and the fuel is gelled. But we have determination. That'll help us. Oh, it's cold up Look, this even has the interior snow package. How did so much snow get in there? The window wasn't even down an inch. Look, the window's down an inch and there's this much snow in the seat. How does that even make sense? The generator, for some reason, is cold. I don't know why that'd be. Is it cold out here? I haven't noticed. I think the gas is jailed. How does that work? I don't know. I have never seen gasoline jail, but I'm not gonna lie with you. I don't, I think so. How's that, what's that say? You're, you can speak Spanish. Oh, uh, we'll catch fire. <laughs> the little harbor freighter. What'd it do? Why'd it kick off? You got too freaking happy. I got too happy. But the harbor freight thingy is kicking. Oh, freak. I said overload. No, you're not overloaded. Don't you worry about it. It is giving it. It's going full power. Don't worry. It won't have to worry about overheating out here. 1,000 watt inverter. We're pulling like five. five. God damn. It's cold as ice. I'm frozen tonight. Oh, yeah. And also the fuel is gelled. So we got to pull the fuel filters, dump some 911 in the fuel filters, and try to get it primed back up. That's just to get it to crank. It might not even start after that. This fuel filter is full of gel. Pulled it off, poured it out, poured fresh fuel in it. Cold out here. Like, I'm not joking, it's negative 15. I don't know how them Canadians do this and stay polite. This is called a Peterbilt reach around. Come on, fuel filter work, or me and you's gonna have words together. Please work. These Canadians are built out of a different breed. I can't stay cold and polite. God. French. You stupid. French. 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 Put this here as a dumb. French. That must be a Canadian. Canadian bacon? It's so Canadian out here. I mean, I mean cold. It's cold out here, eh? Oh yeah, I'm just right Canadian, eh? Just right Canadian. Oh, I, I can never do a Canadian accent until I got gold. Now I realize why they do it that way. This is the best accent I've ever done. Hey, if they stand there, they really want to say French fries. Ever, ever since it's, it's like, eh, I say that. Hey, 
My truck's scaled up, eh? My truck don't run, eh? 15 degrees outside, eh? Fresh fuel filter, fuel, charge batteries, walk heater's been plugged in for like two hours. Please start! because it wouldn't start, which it wouldn't start because I left it in the middle of a field after we was up there done work. But who's really counting? But now, she's back up and running, she's driving, she's doing everything she's supposed to. But I'm really upset. My swan fell off the other day, and I haven't had a chance to put it back on. So we're here! Should we slide the Peterbilt? I say not. It's 40 below, and I don't care. Are you guys getting ready to see the awesomeness that is 1,400 Hemi horse. <laughs> Look at the big box. <laughs> oh, we gotta take that off. I'll blur it. You guys can't know our address because then I don't want beautiful women showing up in the middle of the night and trying to seduce me. It's Wait. happened multiple Wait. times, I'm tired of it. Inside that box is 1,400 Hemi horsepower. And I'm happy about it. Now the only question is, we are going to do a stupid thing by pulling a forklift into the snow. But I believe forklifts are really snow roading machines. They just haven't been given the opportunity. Guys, if you have a forklift like this, it's a forklift and a table. Come on, baby. Pop it. It's more dramatic that way. It's like, oh my God, something's getting ready to happen. This seems like the really uncareful guy in the movie unloading the nuclear reactor. That's what this seems like. It died. Did it? It died. Yep. It, it'll start right back up, don't worry. The forklift needs a little help. You're gonna really get that much of a run at it? Masters. This, uh, this engine here will actually hold 1400 horsepower, the guy said. A box will hold 1400? Yes, it will. How am I going to get 1400 horses in there? Do you know how big a horse is? They're like this long. I can't see where I'm going because my mirrors are iced up, but hopefully I don't need it. How do I get a free John Deere? Well, come out and see us. You don't want me one? <laughs> what are you going to do with it? You probably don't want to know. Videos. Oh, damn. <laughs> You're definitely not going to give me one now. <laughs> I'm known by my reputation. Am I hitting that box over there? Inside this very big box is 1,400 horsepower of awesome. And I've never seen it. I'm really on. I don't know what to say, but I've never had an engine inside of a box. Most of the time they come with cars with them, but, uh, I'm really excited, so let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. Got the crowbar of choice. This will work great. You know how like in the movies where they take a crowbar and open a crate? That's what it feels like right now. Oh. Damn crate! Ooh. Ooh, there is an engine in 
in there. See? And you was trying to get me worked up for nothing. Oh, is that not satisfying? It's orange! This here is our new engine. Honestly, this is such an upgrade over the old one that I cannot even tell you. Well, actually I can. That car right there has a 5.7 liter Hemi. Puppy right here, this orange, is a 6.4 liter, fully forged, ready for boost, ready for power, and is painted orange, which means that adds like an extra 100 horsepower. This engine is rated for 1500 horsepower underneath boost. It's going to be going into our Dodge Charger cop car. We are going to have a 1500 horsepower Dodge Charger cop car. All wheel drive, take in mind. And you know what? That is a really cool thing because all wheel drive has the ability to do so much more stuff than a rear wheel drive car does. It's like all wheel drive donuts, all wheel drive burnouts, all wheel drive slides, off roading, you know. We love our all-wheel drive system. Problem is though, nobody's ever pushed that much power to one of these all-wheel drive systems. So it might explode into a million smithereens. But this engine here was built by Modern Muscle Extreme. That's the guys, they're really good at building Gen 3 Hemis, which is the 5.7s, the 6.4s, the 6.2s, the Hellcat stuff. That's all of this. They uh, put upgraded push rods, rocker arms. It's got a forged bottom end in it. It's got a brand new block, new heads, and it's a 6.4, so it's bigger than what was in our car originally. A bigger cam, which is customly done by then. And this engine was completely built and everything by that. And then look at this. Our car takes a special oil pan for the all-wheel drive system. So they sent us a weed sprayer that we can hook into the engine to actually prime the oil system on the engine. So that looks sick, Weston. I know, don't it? Don't it? Oh, it does look freaking sick, don't it? What's in this box? Mooper! That's redneck for more power. <laughs> Cause now we have a 1500 horsepower engine, but the boys of Holly really hooked us up with the other cool stuff to go on top of this. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, as you can see here, Holly sniper. You can see where this is going. Holly hooked us up really awesome with an intake. Oh my God. <gasps> oh. It looks like a kind of I got new points. I'm not used to this much luxury. Normally my parts are old and broken. Oh my God. Guys, I gotta send a real good shout out over to the guys at Holly because they hooked us up and had this sent out overnight to us to make sure we had an intake to put on our high horsepower. And so, yeah, if you wanna buy anything from Holly whatsoever, they build all kinds of stuff, go check them out on their website. They package their stuff really good because I can't seem to get it out. I think, look at this. my first chrome intake I've ever had. Oh my God, this is gonna look sweet. Is that gonna fit underneath the hood? No, no, it won't. The turbos aren't gonna fit either, don't worry. Holes, oh my God, that is awesome. Look how mean that's gonna look underneath the hood. The we will have a 1500 horsepower all wheel drive cop car with twin turbos and honestly, I don't think I'll run the exhaust out the back, so we might as well just go straight up and hood stack it. Now, they did say right over here, do not stack, but uh, I believe that they are quitters and that we should stack everything. Hood stack everything, right? Either way, it's fine. Guys, we got our 1500 horsepower engine. We got some more parts from Holly that's supposed to be coming in for the engine and stuff. So the next time you see this car, we are going to be putting this engine into there. Needless to say, this has been a fun day. Besides for almost freezing to death trying to start the speedboat, I'll see you guys later.